Hi, welcome to the small shed. Today I'm going to be drilling some holes into some metal for a friend. Well today I was uh, going to drill some holes into some pieces of brass for a colleague at uh, the Model Railway Club and he'd given me a drawing and I looked at it very cursorily at the time and thought it was fairly straightforward. It looked like it was lengths of brass about 13 inches long and some 12 mil half inch holes to be drilled. So I said fine, no problem. And it was only when I got it home that I looked a little bit closer and realised that the uh, 1 to 10 scale was actually 10 to 1 and that what he really wanted was some 13 millimetre pieces of brass uh, with holes drilling that were half a millimetre in diameter which is pretty tiny. So that's one that I've been and done inside the house and uh, done a quick video on but it's not a very long one. Uh, so I'm just going to start off with a bit of unboxing, a bit of uh, the weekly shop on a Saturday morning just to uh, see what's arrived during the last week, That's m most of which will be incorporated into the shed in some way or shape or form later on. Right, time for an unboxing, see what's uh, been arriving from China this week. Ah, that's one of the components for the dust extraction system. Uh, it's a little LED. Oh no, no, I'm going to use it now. Something, got something on the Triton saw, that's right. Uh, yeah, a little project I've got for the Triton router table. A um, little LED driver that will rely on something else coming from China in the first place. So that's that one hole and yeah then I ordered a second one to drive the 12 volt supply for the blast gate to actually power up the low voltage switching when you open and shut the blast gates and that should then trigger a relay to turn the main blower on and off. So yeah, one of each there. <clears throat> one track from China. What's this? Stationery it says. Ah, yes. I think I know what that is. Yeah, for a future project. Well, if you can never have enough pencils, you can also presumably never have enough pencil sharpeners. Those are some pencil sharpeners which I've got uh, in mind for a future project. So those will be useful one day. I'll measure those up. And what's this one? I think is possibly um, two things. I think it's a uh, replacement, I think, for my saw. Yes. Well, not a replacement, but I'm, I love my Irwin pull saw so much that I, uh, I've probably worn the other one out a bit. It's certainly getting the, uh, the teeth bent here and there. So I've got another one to put uh, in the workshop permanently because I've got one in the bag that I use to um, go out with. And I thought I'd get another one and I was a bit disappointed. I went to Screw Fix the other day where I got the first one and they'd stopped stocking them. 
bit of a blow, so I went online and got these from Tool Shed Tool Bank Hatfield. Got them on the internet. Um, again, the usual, you order them one day and they arrive pretty much the next, within the next day or two anyway. Really quick service. The thing I love about these, in addition to the cutting ability, is the fact that the handles detach, if you're lucky, and then, then fold up nice and tightly. So that's going in the workshop, probably won't need to have the detachable handle on that one. Now the other one, that's because I'm going on a YouTuber hunt, which is Probably another very quick video. Um, basically I bought that as a present for somebody because um, I get a huge amount of enjoyment from watching YouTube. I'm watching it now more than I'm watching television. Um, and when you find that there's a YouTuber in your neck of the woods somewhere, uh, it's nice to go and give them a little something because I know they've got a project on at the moment that might find use for it, or if not, they've got one coming up shortly. And I just thought I'd get so much use out of my pull saw, I'd drop by and see if I could find where they are. I've got a pretty good idea. And um, give them something as a, a return for the enjoyment I'm getting for nothing off YouTube. So uh, that one's reserved. So that's what's arrived this week. And there's a latecomer that's just arrived to join the party. And let's see what that is. Trouble is with these things, you send off for them and they don't arrive for three or four weeks and you forget what you've ordered. Ah, yes, at last. Remote doorbell. Um, one of the problems I've got is that being in the shed I'm at the back of the house and if everybody else is out um, I can't hear when the front door comes and they bring me lots of lovely parcels so uh, what I thought was if I got it's, it's a bit of a guess really whether it'll work but the idea would be that if I can somehow hack the sender to work off our existing doorbell push and then I can put a receiver in the back and if it's got enough power to reach through to the back um, if anybody rings the front doorbell I'll get a, a response at this end as well um, it's a guess but again with all of these things for the sake of a couple of quid it's got to be worth a try um, so that's what that one's destined for. Well, having unwrapped all the, the goodies, we'll go and make a start on drilling these holes. The drawing I'd received, it was fairly straightforward. And as I say, apart from misreading the fact that I thought it was 13 inches and not 13 millimeters, um, it looked straightforward enough. But actually it's quite tiny. Six and a half millimeters is only just over a quarter of an inch which is the spacing on the holes. Um, I wanted three holes, the middle one 0.8 8 of a millimetre and the other 2.5. So that was going to be quite a tricky job with a, a normal drill and I had to resort to the lathe. Started out just marking it out with a centre punch and uh, got the centre hole marked and then a pair of calipers set at six and a half mil just like gave me a, a position to scratch the uh, the positions for the outer holes and then again once that mark had been made I could centre pop the uh, the outer holes Thank you. 
and given that the material itself is probably less than a millimetre thick and probably two or three millimetres wide it was going to be a problem actually holding it to drill it. I was originally going to solder it to a backing of some sort of other sheet material but I, in the end I opted for uh, taping it to a screw fix pencil which seemed to do the job perfectly well. Um, we just put the drill into the vertical drilling section of the lathe. And then drill them by hand from there. At this point it gets a bit difficult because it didn't matter how many times I moved the camera, I always ended up getting my hand right in the middle of the uh, picture but uh, sorry about that. And these are the finished items. They'll be forming the bottom of uh, one of the signals on the club railway layout that um, are operated by little servos from underneath. Well I hope that was of interest. Some of the things in the unboxing will reappear no doubt over the next few weeks in various projects um, and I look forward to seeing you on those. If you like the videos please press like, share them and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!